teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live in. We're right around the quarter way mark through the MLB regular season. Crazy how it has flied by. So in this video, I'm going to name my top three for both the AL and NL MVP, a lot of viable candidates, but I chose three in each league. So let's get into it. I'll start with the American League. I'll go in descending order. Third, Gunnar Henderson of the Baltimore Orioles. Now, the Baltimore Orioles are off to a 27 and 14 start, and Henderson has been one of the key players to that start. 12 homers amongst the league leaders. Also, an 880 OPS, a 155 OPS plus on the season. He's also become a very good defensive shortstop, played third and short last year. Has really strictly been a shortstop this season. Last season was eighth in AL MVP voting and won the AL Rookie of the Year. Second, let's go with Bobby Witt Jr. of the Kansas City Royals. Royals are off to a surprising 26 and 19 start. Witt leads the AL with his 39 runs. Also has stolen 15 bases, 21 extra base hits, a 293 average, 859 OPS, and a 142 OPS plus. And his defense at shortstop just continues to improve. You can just look at his defensive wars. According to baseball reference, his rookie season at a negative 1.6 war. Last season, 0.3. Already 1.0. And first, I'm going to go with Juan Soto of the New York Yankees. Now, Soto has struggled a bit of late. I believe he only has three hits in his last six games. Uh, but, you know, part of it's the narrative. The Aaron Judge got off to a slow start. Glaber Torres got off to a slow start. Garrett Cole got hurt. Yet the Yankees are 29 and 15, um, and Soto has been a large part of that, batting over 300, more walks than strikeouts, leading the AL in on base percentage, a 167 OPS plus. So, um, you know, while he might not provide the defensive value that the first two guys I mentioned do, um, Soto has been integral to the Yankees' success, and it's going to be. He's going to get a huge contract offer, um, you know, as he's a free agent after the season. The Yankees are actually 30 and 15 because they won today. Let's move on to the NL, starting with William Contreras of the Milwaukee Brewers. Brewers are also a surprising team, well over 500 on the year at 26 and 17. Contreras, 39 runs scored, leads the NL, 20 extra base hits, 34 RBIs. A 987 OPS, giving him a 182 OPS plus, um, has turned into an adequate catcher behind the plate. Uh, something the Braves weren't sure he could do, and it's a one rare mistake that the Braves have made uh, getting rid of Contreras. Second, Shohei Otani, two-time AL MVP with the Los Angeles Angels. Now, he's not pitching this year. Due to Tommy John surgery, strictly a DH, but I mean, look at him. Leading the NL in batting average, slugging percentage, OPS, OPS plus, homers, doubles, hits. Um, the only reason he's second is because, yes, he is not playing in the field. And I have his teammate first, that being Mookie Betts, who is a AL MVP winner in 2018 while with the Red Sox, of course, has been a gold glove right fielder. Moved to second base where he's expected to play all season due to some struggles by Gavin Lux. He's mostly played shortstop, a little bit of second base as well, and has performed great at both positions. But he's also banged 348, leading the NL with 31 walks, a 186 OPS, plus 37 runs scored, 7 homers, 8 stolen bases. To me, Mookie Betts has been been the NL MVP and probably the best all-around player in baseball thus far on the season. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Who do you believe has been the top three in each league? Do you agree with Soto and Betts as league's MVP that fa thus far? Um, 
I really debated between Witt and Soto for the AL. That is a tough call. Uh, but again, still so much baseball left to play, and so much can change from now until the end of this season. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend to subscribe, like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications, I'm out.